I'm Scott Denham. I work for IBM's Deep Computing Technical Team. Uh, we're a worldwide organization focused on high performance computing. We work with IBM's customers to find uh, solutions using IBM technology to solve the most challenging computational problems. So in our new announcement for the IdeaPlex line, we've added the ability to integrate uh, NVIDIA Tesla 20 series GPU cards to uh, add tremendous compute power uh, to the existing infrastructure. So now in a single rack, we can go to over 38,000 processing cores in one rack, which can allow up to 10 times the uh, processing power for an individual node. The IdeaPlex compute nodes consist of a, a standard uh, motherboard with two sockets that contain the, the latest technology Intel CPU cards, plus a riser card with PCI Express to which we attach the NVIDIA 20 series Tesla cards in a very compact form factor that's very easy to service and optimizes the airflow through the system to make sure that this is all properly cooled. So many of our customers are constrained by the amount of power and cooling that they can get into their existing facilities. They have a demand for much higher levels of computation to implement advanced algorithms, and to do that they either need much larger buildings with much larger power supplies, or they need to find a more efficient way to do it. The GPU technology is an ideal way to get this much higher level of computational ability in the same power footprint as the existing systems while increasing throughput from four to ten times. So the future of computing in high-performance computing space, we really see moving towards this hybrid model where we have a combination of standard cores and very high-performance cores, hundreds per chip. We're reaching limits where we can no longer simply make clocks run faster, so parallelism is the only answer. Parallelism inside the chip is the most effective way to do that. We're putting hundreds of cores on a single chip, as the GPUs do, we can achieve the kind of density and power improvements uh, that are going to be required to take us into the petaflop era and beyond.